So website shrinking, not behaving. You have media queries. You have everything you need. It's just not working. What is going on? It looked fine on your desktop, but then you went to the responsive mode or you looked on your phone and it's just broken. What is going on? This is a hold back to the old days of the web when cell phones didn't really exist and then they started showing up, but websites weren't made for them. So what they did is they just took the site and they shrank the whole thing down. We need to tell the browser not to do that. And there is a very easy way to do it. So let's go and take a look at this page that I have where we're, we've run into this problem. So we can see that it is shrinking away and that's not what I want. This is not the behavior at all that should be happening. So to fix this, all we have to do is come up into my head, can be anywhere in here, and we're gonna add in a meta tag. So the name of this one is viewport. So there we go. And so we're saying that this meta information is related to the viewport. And actually for this, let's stretch this out a little bit. And then what we wanna do is content. And there's two different pieces of content that we need to have in here. The first one is going to be width is equal to device, device, width. And what that's saying is that instead of shrinking everything down effectively or um, trying to simulate a different size of screen, whatever your device's width is, that's what's gonna be used for the media queries. And that's using CSS pixels, uh, which are not the same as regular pixels. It's like a standard unit of measure. It makes everything work the way you expect it to pretty much. Um, and the next thing we're gonna wanna do is the initial scale is equal to uh, one. And what initial scale is saying is, don't be zoomed in or don't be zoomed out. We want to make sure that it's at the right level. There are other things you can put in here. Some of them are actually to disable zooming so people can't pinch and zoom. Don't do that. Please never do that. Um, the reason we don't want to do that is it's just, you know, if someone's zooming in, there's a reason they're doing it, right? So now if I hit save on that and let's come and take a look at what it's done, you can see I have my two columns like we had before. Everything's good. But now it works. My media queries are all working right here. It's stacking the way we want it to. If I go smaller, they'll stack even more. All my media queries are working. It looks nice. It looks the way I want it to look. So it's a nice, easy, simple fix. And it's just to tell the phone that it should be expecting your website to be responsive because by default, it doesn't expect it to. And again, this is a fallback to the old days when responsive web design didn't really exist. So it's just one little line that you have to add to your HTML to make sure that's going to happen. So I really hope that helped you out and solved your issue. But if you are having other issues with making your websites responsive or if it's a struggle for you, I do have a free 21 day course that dives into helping you understand how to make layouts responsive. It's called Conquering Responsive Layouts because that's what it's all about, getting into the right mindset of it. It's a 21 day challenge. It's all full of hands on challenges challenges for you to complete. So we do some lessons, then you go and try and do stuff. And then a few days later, I give you my solutions to the challenges. And we work our way up from a very, very simple at the beginning, all the way to doing a pretty cool looking layout, I think by the end. So if responsive layouts are something you've been fighting with, I really do believe this course should be able to help you out. So go check out that link down in the description below. Again, it's completely free. It's already helped a lot of people out and I hope it can help you out as well. Whether or not you decide to join or not, thank you very much for watching. A really big thank you to my patrons for helping support me every single month. You guys are always blowing me away with your support. So thank you guys so very much. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.